Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in. All right, we're going to look at divine feminine messages for the month of August. So welcome in. Remember that this is a general, um, these are general messages. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in. Much love and gratitude to you. All right. Messages for Divine Feminine. What does the Divine want to say about Divine Feminine energy for the month of August? I do feel like release, let loose, loosen up a bit. Loosen up, being able to loosen up, loosen up, loosen up a bit. Just um, dance, you know, just shake things off, being able to loosen up. I'm feeling following your heart. Some people are single. We have some single divine feminines out here. Some people are building, working on setting up some kind of a stability or foundation here. It does feel undercover. Mm, and we have the strength energy. It does feel like someone is on the wheel of fortune. So I do feel a lot of beautiful things are going to happen for the and the sun. I do feel a lot of beautiful things are happening for divine feminine energy now. So this reading is very important. There's something in the making, in the working, and it's about to work in your favor, divine feminine. Masculine presence is here. I feel like they have somehow stepped away from a certain role or there's something that is separate when it comes to the balance of masculine and feminine. Like something um, like a foundation, a solidity, maybe... Uh, in faith or spirituality something that is foundational that has integrity and maybe pro um provides one with a sense of identity and integrity so it's something like that a baseline foundation that is absent it feels like it was stolen away it feels like it, it just broke away but there was it's things were still holding up right so it wasn't very obvious that this foundation was kind of uh unsturdy but and and maybe that is why many people are single i do have um i do get the vibe of um 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 women that are um so divine i'm getting the energy of women that have taken on more masculine traits i do feel energy from women that are lesbians so that's the energy i'm getting here with the seven of swords and the nine of pentacles i do feel the presence of us uh, like those who i do feel the energy of w of women that dress like men too you know is um that kind of a masculine energy i'm feeling with women dress like men speak like men wanting to stand up and defend themselves building foundations and stability here look but there's going there needs to be a divine union between two masculine and feminine <clears throat> each needs to representing their in their full strength right now for whatever new day or outcome we wish to receive or we wish to align with where the world is heading, especially we're seeing in the month of August, there's some there's going to be an agreement, a partnership, a vow, or a commitment between two people who have their heart set in the same place, the same vision, um, the same vision for what they would like the, their lives to be when it comes to masculine and feminine energy and the, the divine unions actually reuniting or uniting in a different way for the first time. I'm feeling the strong energy of this um this energy of a, a presence of someone that dresses like a man talks like one like definitely a lesbian out here i do feel you there's something that's in your heart that's pulling you maybe to reunite with a soulmate this could be a male figure divine feminine all right someone may want to come back into you okay this we have cancer pisces and scorpio energy here water sign I do feel like Divine Feminine will be coming into their strength, their power. We have the Lion energy here in the Two of Cups energy also. So this is emotions, intuition, feeling, passion, and desires. And this is all feminine energy. 
this is feminine energy in its most powerful the strength card the magician energy is more masculine feminine energy is the strength energy notice we have the infinity sign above her head this is the ruler of all things divine the strength and the power the power for a divine feminine is is found within your grace it is how you control your internal environment how you're able to manipulate or to influence ex external environment even with your sexual energy how to tame a person how to get the desired results that you want this woman here is taming a lion and this card had to come out in this reading to represent for you divine feminine this is the energy in which we need to step in reclaiming our power or prowess okay what are your what are, what are, what are the natural abilities and gifts of women your sexuality your charm your beauty your your grace your your elegance okay so this is how we're going to get the results that we want so divine feminine really needs to stand in their power in in this time right now this is how i'm feeling and then we have the the, the wheel of fortune energy which is definitely saying some beautiful things will be happening i feel prosperity i feel success when one as long as this balance comes through so very important for you all for all of us divine feminines to really tap into our true power we're going to clarify the strength card two there may be a new beginning for some people here a new beginning in thoughts in ideas in belief patterns in the way we speak in the way we live and in the way we act i feel like new life a new life a new type of life that's how it feels to me a new a new world honestly with the wheel of fortune and the ace of wands a new world i feel a world that is beautiful once it has been nurtured by the divine feminine plants growing the trees because even men can tap into their divine feminine energy men that walk barefoot plant trees are nurturing to earth are loving and 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 our love so both masculine and feminine energy here can tap into divine feminine energy all right so to bring forth this new world healing i feel the healing i feel like things springing into life once more with the sun energy prosperity success and abundance okay so let's clarify the strength card to see some of the things that we can do as divine feminine energy to really uh to really carry out our mission because i do feel like it is something beautiful once we unite in this time with our divine counterparts and not necessarily getting together with someone physically but energetically knowing how to find that balance with masculine and feminine some people could be meeting their soulmates you know I feel like someone could be changing their lifestyle, going on a different path. You maybe you maybe have been um, doubtful about the situation, wanting to change your lifestyle, maybe wanting to feel more feminine because you, it is in your heart. You're soft. You love like this. That's the energy. So with the eight, with this love it of energy, you appreciate that. So okay. So even with the seven of swords energy, it feels like something was stolen from you, and this is what makes you stand up here as the as a single possibly lesbian divine feminine okay but now i feel there's a need or a calling for you to follow your heart into some bliss a union with your your soulmate all right <clears throat> so let's clarify some energies for the strength card <sighs> just use that energies for the strength for divine feminine energy knowing how to walk away knowing how to be self-reliant Knowing how not to need someone, knowing how to have faith and confidence because the divine feminine realize it's like mother earth energy. You know, you'll always be cared for. You know where the healing is. It's like that. It literally feels like faith, trust and confidence, knowing that you have power. You are divinely connected to earth. All right. To the essence of earth, knowing that things will work out for you, feeling extra blessed that is that like you feel closer to, to to god in a sense and knowing how to follow that path forward and messages for the strength card for divine feminine we have the nine 
of hearts messages for divine feminine here clarify the strength card <clears throat> okay so the nine of hearts is fulfillment joy prosperity manifesting your abundance your happiness your joy i do feel like you're happy with or without a person because as i was saying about nature you're one that is able to find joy in nature itself going out to the rivers to the stream and just finding bliss there and literally i feel this these are the things that attracts divine masculine energy to come toward you just by you being a natural feminine essence like literally dancing in the rain just being silly your child like I, it's that beautiful like being so fulfilled and happy on your own within your own essence your own beauty and it literally is an attraction magnet for the divine masculine here because look this person is the jack of wands. This is the attraction energy. People watching you, seeing you, being attracted to you. All right. And this is this could be two people that are single coming together. For some of you, divine feminine, that are interested in that. It could be a new relationship. It's a new spark for some people. Any more clarifications for the strength card for divine feminine? Hmm, trust. Heal. I do get a feeling. Yes, I do get a feeling of healing. The three of swords, the broken hearts. Look, someone stole something from you. That's what I was saying earlier, divine feminine. Now, this could be the masculine energy with the swords energy. People that are more um, practical, okay? More logical with the swords energy, all right? And so maybe they don't feel as much as we do. And this is telling me that there's something in the past that we do need to go back and heal. Many of us, not just one of us. There's a collective of women out here that needs to heal something in their childhood, possibly relating to their father. And this does feel like a father figure that goes out working all the time. Very dedicated to work, okay? And then I feel like there's something that needs to be healed. And for some people, some your father wants your forgiveness. I do feel like this person has a, a bunch of flowers for real, just waiting for you to turn up so that they can tell you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, darling. You know, that's the energy. I'm sorry, darling. And I feel something will align and click. And it, it is what aligns you to stand in your divine feminine. You're going to realize that what you think you needed from the person in your past that may have neglected you or walked away from you, disconnected from you, divine feminine. You realize it is already in you. And the search, or the, the search, you search for it from someone else, and the disappointment you feel because you weren't um, receiving this, it is what keeps you feeling small, but you are to realize that it is already within you. You're seeking it externally, but this, this attention and love and, 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 and um, affection, understanding, commitment that you feel is owed to you, possibly by your father. It is within you. Even with the Six of Cups energy, I feel you gifting something to your own self here. Your own happiness. Alright? That's how I feel. So something needs to heal. Something from the childhood. Some of you, this could be someone coming back from the childhood. A childhood friend. A past love connection. Coming back to make an offering to you. Or possibly an offering of love. We have water sign here. Again, Cups energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so maybe coming back to mend a broken heart. And it's going to be beautiful, whatever it is that's going on. And this new person, it could be a new person coming in too, All right? Could be a new, let me see. It's like a, a new. I feel a new person may come around and give you something from an old person and and you may fall in love with the new person so it could be the new person or the old person but this new person is quite significant it's like this new person that comes to give you something from the old person and then you realize that this person they i feel like this person will realize that you divine feminine are somehow connected to them they're so made there maybe they'll see the way you smell or it's just the way you carry yourself that's what i'm saying so just try to 
always um, be in your divine feminine energy. Let no one steal that precious energy away from you. So I feel like someone will notice your smile or something on your journey for in the month of August there. And they'll want to just present you with a gift. This person will find you very alluring and attractive. Other messages for divine feminine for the month of August. Look, attraction. This could be multiple people being attracted to you. Some of you are focusing on business and on work. You're in a spirit. Oh, see, you know what I'm saying? You're in this energy of working. And this is masculine energy with the king of wands. <clears throat> the masculine energy with the king of wands in the way you choose to work go getter grinding neglecting your family masculine energy <laughs> you know what i'm saying paying a lot of attention to your business just deep in your business investing all of your passion your desires and your energy within your business whatever you're working on this could be something creative to a creative idea I, I just got the sense of someone opening a bakery or something like that. And it does require a lot of your attention. But it is masculine energy that you're exerting into this. Okay, so if, you're, if you are finding it a bit of a struggle in this business, I feel it is because you're working within your masculine energy. So in order, especially now, with everything that the world is going through, we have to really align Okay, so I do feel if you align with your true energy, your feminine energy, things will work out better for you. For you that I'm talking to know. Okay, because it is, the king of wands is paired with the devil energy. So it does feel like that is the toxic energy, the toxic masculine identity of um, working and struggling and sweating and brushing sweat out of our brows and breaking our backs to be out there grinding. It's beautiful to pursue your dreams. But you're not just 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 doing it in a masculine vibration is toxic for the feminine energy because you're refusing to nurture to love to welcome to receive to accept to trust to have faith to be confident to know that the universe is working for you because you're a receiver as feminine you know so you should be more open to receiving instead of grinding 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 i feel if you relax you ask for what you want you let things flow and that's how you'll, you, you'll be more productive in your business. And this is for some of you. This is hard. Maybe we'll, uh, I'll clarify that devil energy sooner or later. Any other messages for divine feminine? Okay. So just don't be confused. The, the lover's card wanted to come out. Okay, so... Let us clarify the King of Wands and the Devil Energy. Clarify the King of Wands and the Devil Energy, please, angels, spirits, and guides. Thank you so much for coming through, being here, helping me to put forth the best, most um, inspiring messages for the collective when it comes to our divine feminine energy. What is the King of Wands and the Devil? I feel like you're the Three of Wands. Okay. That is the king of wands, the three of wands, <laughs> and the devil energy. King of wands, three of wands, devil energy. Oh, this may be a whole nother story to talk about. The, like a whole nother story in how feminine energy is embodying a lot of masculine energy when it comes to work. A new way of working is coming through for the feminine. And we're, here, we're going to realize what our real role is when it comes to the next phase of Earth. This new world that is coming through. Feminine is, I just feel like, our essence as divine feminine should pass over the Earth and heal it with love and nurture. Not fighting and strife. You know, we are the ones that go back to plant the flowers. That's the divine feminine. And as I said, you could be a, mask, a male that I'm talking to. It doesn't matter. We're just talking about balancing with divine feminine and masculine, which is in which both energies is present within us. Okay, so going out to plant a tree. But especially if you're born, if, if you're incarnated in this, in this lifetime as female, it is very, very important for you to really execute or, or, or live your life 
right or according to your life path mission. So females are supposed to be more feminine, naturally. Males are supposed to be more masculine. All right. So whatever we do, the way we touch, the way we speak, okay, the way we love, our ability to understand and to think deeper, our ability to empathize with others, you know, to, to oh my God, to cook delicious food, to, 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 to make to make our environments feel safe and happy okay that is divine feminine and so when we need when the role is called up we need to be able to step in our roles and we need to know how to do so when it is time for the flowers to start growing back to life we need to know how to speak to the plants and speak to the ocean we need these things. We, you know, this is what needs to heal. That's why the devil energy is here. The feminine energy really, really needs to heal. Because women have been oppressed. Okay? And so there's this fight to, 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 for equality. It kind of throws us off balance with divine feminine energy. Especially in a society where sheep follow sheep. Okay? People do what the crowd is doing. If You know what I'm saying? Um, so we have the page of wands again, which is repeated here and the king of swords. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It's the hardness, the blocking, the, 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 the fight It's like, why would women even sign up to go to war? <laughs> that's the energy I'm getting. Certain things are left for men. And then of course women come through and I know this is contradiction for some because some people do believe women we can do anything i know that but there needs to be that balance there needs to be the balance when the men fight who is going to dress the wounds and love people back to life okay and then we have the chart energy which is a beautiful abundant water energy which is glory this is healing this is spiritual well-being this is archangel for me presence and glory this this is the energy that I'm saying. Women are supposed to still be able to draw out of masculine energy a bow. Oh, I said it the last time and these are the two. I believe, no, it came out with the nine of hearts. And it felt like a bow. I feel like when, when divine feminine comes through, your grace and the power and the light that shines through you, you should be able to, to, to command a bow. All right? For your presence. You're so graceful. And I just feel like you're a counterpart of God here. And you should be recognized for that. Instead of fighting and struggling. With uh, our, our, our competing with masculine energy up here. See all of this is surrounding devilish energy. Any other clarifications? The sun card is saying things will be beautiful. We see things blooming back to life. We see new birth. We see prosperity, abundance, joy, success. I do get the feeling of meditation, holding one own, one's own space and place. New beginnings coming through too. Things are ending. I do feel a new world. Yes, the lover's card is finally here. I said earlier it wanted to come out. And that's uniting with the divine masculine. And the divine feminine. Look at that. To have the happiness, dreams, wish fulfillment. Look at this. The king of cups. Thank you so much. Um, dreams, wish fulfillment, balance, harmony, money. Then we have the ten of pentacles. This is amazing. All right. So let's speak things into existence. Let's act in accordance to our missions, our role here. Align divine masculine, divine feminine here. All right, to have this the outcome that is best, the dream coming through with the ten of pent the ten of cups energy here, and we have a lot of cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and I do say for some people this is specific. This is saying you're meeting your divine soulmate, your twin flame, your lover, and you're you're aligning with this person. You're about to maybe get married, have a beautiful home. This could be a past, past life soulmate that's coming back to you that just wants to jump out in this reading. Maybe because they know you'll be listening to see. This is so profound. It's like a higher, a ha coming from a beautiful and high place right now for you. 
Ten of Pentacles is also saying there's prosperity and abundance. I do feel things flourishing back to life. Two tens, new beginnings, and the ace. Because when, when we need the earth to flourish back to life, we need divine feminine. We need those that are going to walk on the earth barefoot, singing, singing beautiful songs to heal the earth. We need those that are going to hold our children and love them. Divine feminine. This is what we're going to need. In the month of August, I need you to speak up to with the Ace of Swords here. We need your voice. I need to hear you. I need to feel you represent in your most creative, most defined feminine way. Let it out. Whatever it is, if it is, if it is a sexual energy, if it is your charm, your grace, your beauty, speak. Speak through God. Let God speak through you because I'm saying is I feel you are a counterpart of God energy here. Divine feminine. All right? This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found messages that are able to inspire you and help you along your journey. I love that I, I had you here. Much love. Thank you so much for coming through. If this video resonated with you and you'd like to compliment the video, do leave a thumbs up behind to let YouTube know that you kind of like these kinds of videos. All right. And it also helps my channel to grow. You may also continue supporting by subscribing the channel, subscribing to my channel to see future uploads and sharing these videos with those that you love. As always, you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you, because you desire, because you, you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Take care and I'll see you next time.